everybody, Jennifer Maker here. It's a beautiful day to learn how to glitter glasses. Wine glasses, that is. Glitter adds so much to a project, but I know a lot of us hesitate to use it since it gets everywhere. Well, I have some tools and techniques to add glitter, because it's so pretty, and vinyl designs just where you want them on these beautiful wine glasses. So come with me to my craft table and I will show you how this all works. Adding glitter and vinyl to your wine glasses can make them stand out at your next party. They also make wonderful gifts. There are so many different types of glitter available that it can be a bit overwhelming when choosing just one. Glitter also has a reputation for spreading itself around in places that you don't want it. So I have tested multiple types of glitter and ways to contain it to give you an easy way to make your own glitter wine glasses. That doesn't drive you crazy. I've got lots of practice wrangling glitter while testing out the different brands, styles, and colors, and I will show you my new favorites. I picked these 15 ounce wine glasses because they're large enough for glittery bottoms and decals, but still really easy to hold. You can try other glasses, of course, but they look great, I think. Now to get the glitter to stay on the wine glass, good old Mod Podge. It goes on really easily with a paintbrush and it dries clear. And don't worry about getting the top of the glitter line perfect. I will show you how to do that using a ruler, a dry erase marker, and painter's tape. Now it's really important to keep your glasses clean, so be sure to have some alcohol, coffee filters like this, and disposable gloves nearby so you don't get your fingerprints all over them. The coffee filters will also help when we actually add the glitter along with some plastic cups and some kind of plastic bin like this or even a cardboard box. And then after you've glittered everything, it's time to decorate them. I've cut my vinyl on a cutting machine, so I'm gonna show you how to prep that in Cricut Design Space, and also how to make a custom monogram design. I've tried several types of vinyl for the decals too, as you can see here. I'll show you how to add permanent vinyl, as well as foil and shimmer vinyls. Some use standard grip transfer tape, while others will need the strong grip transfer tape, so keep notes when we get there. I'll also try out some removable vinyl to see how that works. Now I cut the vinyl decals using my Cricut Maker 3, but you can use any of the other cutting machines using a green standard grip mat. We'll use several of the common vinyl tools to help with the vinyl decal weeding and application too. So let's dive in and see if we can avoid getting glitter everywhere. Step one, prepare and glitter the glasses. My best advice is to protect your work surface with butcher paper before you open any glitter bottles. I knew I wanted to use Mod Podge as the adhesive and sealant, but I tested a lot of glitter for this project. Glitter is usually described by the size of the little bits in the container, like super fine cut, fine cut, medium cut, or chunky. You can put down some glue on scrap paper, add glitter, and spread it with a paintbrush to get an idea of how they'll interact before you ever put it onto anything else. This super fine glitter I tried was powdery and almost turned into a paste, so that didn't work well. The chunky glitter had very large and very small bits mixed together, so it was difficult to get even. The texture on the glass also didn't feel nice. The larger pieces stuck up and made uneven finishes. The material is also important. There's iridescent, holographic, metallic, matte, color shifting, and so many more types of glitter. One kind can look totally different depending on the manufacturer or even the color. Here are two silver holographic options that sound like they'd be the same, but they look different. Eventually, I picked a variety of iridescent, holographic, and metallic glitters in fine to medium sizes for my glasses. They all create an even sparkle without much fuss. Next, clean the glasses with rubbing alcohol and coffee filters. That will help the Mod Podge stick better. They're about four and a half inches tall, and the decals are between one and three quarter inches and two and a quarter inches tall. 
We'll add glitter to the outer bottom and up the sides, and then put the decals on the clear glass. Stand the ruler up next to the glass and decide how high you want the glitter to go, making sure there's plenty of room for the decals. I'll go one and a half to one and three quarters inches from the bottom. Now for the trick to make an even line. Lay your ruler flat and place the uncapped dry erase marker on it so the tip sticks out just past the correct measurement. Tape the marker in place so it's secure. Stand the ruler back up so the marker just touches the glass. Hold the ruler in place with one hand and rotate the glass with the other. Ta-da! A removable guideline all the way around. If you're making a set, mark the other glasses the same way so they match. Now we'll protect above the line with painter's tape and leave the lower section available for our glue. Turn the glass upside down and add a tape strip just below the guideline. Make it tight by pulling the tape snug as you go around. Press down the edge at the marker line first and then smooth the rest. Bubbles and creases will only really matter if they let the glue seep under. Wipe off the marker guideline and any fingerprints with your coffee filter and alcohol. It's okay if the tape hides some marker residue, it won't impact the finished look. Your glass is now ready for the glitter. Put on a pair of gloves to protect your hands from the glue and the glitter. It will stick to you. <laughs> you have been forewarned. Mix up the Mod Podge in the container by rolling it back and forth on its side a few times. A little goes a long way, so pour a bit into a cup. Use a paintbrush to brush on the Mod Podge, staying on the correct side of the tape. You can leave the glass on a table and rotate it as you paint, or hold the upper section in your non-painting hand. Whatever works for you. Mod Podge goes on white, but dries clear. Avoid a lot of streaks and globs, but don't stress about making it completely smooth. Brush it right over the edge of the tape guideline, but don't go over the other side of the tape. After covering the lower sides and bottom, let the glass sit upside down while you get your glitter ready. If your container does not have a pour-friendly lid, grab another plastic cup and pour in a few tablespoons of glitter. Now flatten a coffee filter and place it inside your plastic tote or box. It will catch glitter that you can put right back into the bottle. The tote will also keep the spreading of the glitter to a minimum. Hold your glass horizontally over the filter. I held some by the edges, but bigger glasses are easier with your hand inside. Pour glitter over the glued area, rotating it as you go. Excess glitter will fall onto the coffee filter. Once you've added glitter all the way around the glass, tilt its bottom up a bit and pour more directly onto the edges and bottom. Keep rotating. The first layer is done. It won't be totally even, but the future layers will help. Make sure the glass is over the filter and then tilt it upright and give it a small shake to knock off unadhered glitter. Flatten another coffee filter and set the glass upside down on it to dry for one or two hours. The coffee filter will catch any stray glitter that falls. If you're making glasses with different glitters, use a new tote and coffee filter, new cup of Mod Podge, and a new paintbrush, or wash it well before changing colors. That way they don't mix and you don't get the wrong glitter on the wrong glass. While the first layers dry, wash your paintbrush with warm water. To easily clean the glitter, gather up the coffee filter at the edges and form a spout on one end to pour the excess back into the cup or glitter bottle for the next layer. If excess glitter falls into the tote or box, simply shake it to one quarter and pour it onto the coffee filter to transfer it back. After one to two hours, check the glass. If you see any wet looking areas or Mod Podge that's still white, let it dry longer. Follow the same process to apply the second layer of Mod Podge and glitter. Don't be surprised if some excess glitter sticks to your paintbrush while you're applying that next layer of Mod Podge. That's totally normal as the glitter hasn't been sealed yet. 
let the second coat dry, and then hold up the glass to a light. Any areas that allow light in need another layer. It depends on the glitter, color, and your coverage. A third layer should do it. Once your glass has all the glitter layers it needs, apply one more layer of Mod Podge to seal the glitter. Thoroughly paint the entire glittered area, changing directions occasionally to get the glue into all the tiny crevices between the bits of glitter. This seal will let you handle and wash the glass without the glitter coming off. Set the glass down to dry for at least two hours. Finally, find the tape's edge and very carefully roll it back flat against itself along the surface. The straight edge should stay clean. If some glitter comes up with the tape, push the edge back down and carefully apply some more Mod Podge on top to seal it. The Mod Podge can make the plain glass a bit milky, so wipe off any excess while it's still wet and clean the area with a bit of alcohol. Let the glass sit for at least 24 hours before cleaning it. The Mod Podge is dishwasher safe, but stick the hand washing just in case, especially after the next steps when we put on our vinyl decals. Step two, get your wine glass decal designs. I have free designs that you can use. To find them, go to jennifermaker.com 447 and look for libraries in the red bar at the top. Then either click Get a Password if you don't yet have one, or click Enter the Library. You can find the designs by searching for number 447 and then click it to download the zip file. You can cut the printable PDF by hand, but I'll show you how to cut SVG cut files in the collection with a cutting machine like a Cricut. The file includes five different designs that you can place on your glasses. A New Year's theme a Mr. and Mrs. theme, and two different fun phrases that can be used year round. I'll also show you how to create a custom decal using the monogram function in Cricut Design Space. So upload the SVG that you want to use and add it to your canvas. If you're not sure how to do this, go to jennifermaker.com svgs to learn how to unzip and upload files. Step three, prepare the decal designs. Here's how the collection looks on my canvas in Cricut Design Space. To use only the designs you need, select the set and click Ungroup above the Layers panel. You can delete the unwanted decals by selecting each one and clicking the trash can at the upper right. The decals are already sized for the exact glasses and amount of glitter I used. You can adjust them though if you use a different style. First, measure the clear area above the glitter and subtract half an inch to leave space around the design. And then back in Cricut Design Space, select the decal and keep the lock icon closed and type the correct size into the height box. You can also change the colors using the material color box next to the operation drop down menu right here. To change individual colors in the multicolor designs, select the decal and use ungroup to separate the different color layers. Then select only the color you want to change and use the material colors box again. You are now ready to cut the decals. Make a custom monogram. You can use the monogram function to make a custom design. Currently, any Design Space user can create a monogram using the tool, but only Cricut Access subscribers can cut them. You can use the templates for inspiration or use my monogram tutorial to make your own at jennifermaker.com slash etched stainless steel tumbler. Click the monogram icon to open the tool. Type the initials you want in the boxes at the top left. I will type GR to make a glass for Greg. Change the Operation drop-down menu to Cut to adjust the options. Now choose your style. In the Classic menu, you choose a text style first and then a surrounding design. In the Thematic menu, it's the other way around. The preview will change so you can experiment. I like the first frame in the Thematic Decorative section, the one with straight lines and decorative petals. I chose the simple serif font to match it. Click Add to Canvas. I'll use the color box to change my monogram to one color. 
I want it turquoise to match my glitter, so I'll click Advanced under the color box, and then move the sliders around until I find a color I like. You can adjust the element separately. Since mine only has two letters, I want to shorten the length of the bars. Select the monogram and then click Ungroup. Click the Bars layer and make sure the lock icon is open. Adjust the dimension that you want. I'll type 2 inches into the width box to change the bar's width without impacting their height. Then drag a bounding box over the monogram elements and center them by using a line on the top menu and click Center. Finally, click Attach to keep the monogram together during cutting and make it one color. Or if you want to make elements in different colors, use Group instead of Attach and make the changes. I don't want that, so I'll delete it. Now you're ready to cut. Step 4. Cut your vinyl decals. Check that the right machine is listed in the top corner, then click Make It. On the Prepare screen, keep the material size at 12 by 12. Make sure your decal elements are all on the right mats, and then click Continue. On the Make screen, select the correct material setting for each mat. The first mat I have is silver foil, so I'll click Browse All Materials to select the proper cut setting. Type Foil in the search box and click the magnifying glass next to the box. Click Adhesive Foil and Done. I got the best result with more pressure. Make sure the fine point blade is loaded into the machine correctly. Place your vinyl on a clean, green standard grip machine mat, color side up just like this. And make sure it's well adhered with a brayer for the best cut. Load the machine mat into your Cricut and press the flashing button to begin. If you run into any issues cutting your materials, check out my Cricut tips and tricks for cleaner cuts at jennifermaker.com blades. Once the cut is complete, you could unload the mat and weed the design while it's still secure and flat. Remove the excess material and work from larger to smaller sections using a weeding tool. Poke your weeding tool into each section that you want to remove and gently lift it away from the design. Try not to remove anything that you want to keep. If something comes up, gently pat them back into place and try again. And don't forget the middle bits of the letters and watch out for any dots above the lowercase letter I. Prepare the mat with a next vinyl sheet and select the appropriate settings. For premium vinyl, I used premium vinyl permanent glossy with more pressure. For shimmer vinyl, I used premium vinyl shimmer with more pressure. Continue to load, cut, and remove mats and weed vinyl until all the pieces are ready. Step 5. Apply the decals to your glitter glasses. We'll use transfer tape to prepare each decal, but I have a few tricks, especially for multicolored designs. First, we'll apply transfer tape to all the single color decals so they're ready to go. I'll show you the process with the monogram. Make sure to use the correct transfer tape for the type of vinyl you're using. Premium vinyl and adhesive foil vinyl both use standard grip transfer tape, which has a blue or gray print like this. Shimmer vinyl needs stronger adhesive, so use strong grip transfer tape, which has a purple print like this. You don't want to mix the two and use, like, say, strong grip for the other vinyl. If you do that, it just won't come off right. And vice versa, if you use standard for, let's say, the shimmer vinyl, it won't pick it up properly. So cut a piece of appropriate transfer tape for each one color decal slightly larger than it. I'm going to use standard grip transfer tape for the monogram. Remove the backer from the transfer tape. Now hold it sticky side down in the shape of a taco or a U shape and put the bottom of your taco onto the middle of your face up design. Smooth the tape over the decal from the center outward and burnish it down using the scraper tool. I like to combine different layer designs before putting them on the glass, usually by moving the smaller elements to the backer with the biggest piece. I'll show you with the grape decisions decal. I use shimmer vinyl for the red in my glasses, so I need to use strong grip transfer tape. 
cut a piece of transfer tape to fit the full size of the decal. Make sure you check it on the larger layer. Next, place the transfer tape down on the red layer using the taco method and burnish it well. Remove the backing from the red vinyl. If the vinyl doesn't stick to the transfer tape, lay it back down and burnish it again. Position your vinyl and transfer tape over the next layer, in this case the green vinyl. Use the screen for an alignment reference. Once it's in place, burnish it on top. Now it's pretty much a single layer decal ready for your glitter glass. Let's put the monogram decal on a glass to finish it up. Then use scissors to cut small snips around the edges of the transfer tape. Just don't cut into the vinyl itself. These little cuts like this will allow you to shape the transfer tape around the curved glass without creasing the design. Remove the backer from the decal. If it sticks, just burnish it again. Place the decal center halfway between the glitter and the top edge of the glass. Use your finger to gently rub from the center of the vinyl outward, tacking the design into place. Then very gently remove the transfer tape, leaving the vinyl on the glass. Smooth any bubbles with your fingers, working from the center out. If thin parts won't lay down correctly and form bumps, you can very carefully peel the vinyl back up with a weeding tool just enough to create the space it needs. Then gently lay it back down. Your glitter glass is now ready to share. Aren't these wine glasses so fun? And with so many vinyl and glitter options, the color and decal combinations that you can come up with are practically endless. Now I had the best results with glitters from the Glitter Guy. You can see all of his amazing glitters over at jennifermaker.com slash glitter. And credit for the dry erase marker technique on the wine glasses goes to Lisa Schilling. I found her YouTube video and I'll link it below this video so you can watch it too. Now the vinyl will stay secure through many hand washings without a sealer, so just treat them gently and enjoy. While most of the vinyls are permanent, the turquoise that I used here is removable, so I would be more careful with that one. It just matched the glitter too well not to use, right? Just be aware that removable vinyl is best for decals that you don't want to stay for a while, so it works great for party glasses. Now, if you have any questions about how to add glitter to wine glasses that didn't get answered here, or anything else craft related that you think I can help you with, just let me know. Leave your question below this video or ask over in our Cricut Crafters group at jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters. This is an awesome group that is so helpful and it's a great place to post your photos too. And that's it for today. Until next time, this is Jennifer Maker reminding you to craft a life you love. Mm -hmm.